A Huntsville police officer is waiting to learn if a murder case against him will move forward. A hearing for immunity for Officer William Darby wrapped up within the last hour. For the first time today, body camera footage of the incident was shown in court. It's on your screen right now. It was one year ago today. In the video, we see Darby walk up to a suicidal man's home. We have frozen the video at the moment where Darby fires his shotgun. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Naja Sherman. Way 31 Sydney Martin is live at the courthouse with brand new details that we are learning about this case. Sydney. Dan Naja, the hearing puts the burden on Darby's attorneys to convince the judge that there's a greater than 50% chance that when he shot and killed the man in that video, that he acted in self defense. Now, Officer William Darby testified about the incident in court for nearly two hours. The two officers who arrived at the scene before he did also took the stand. Darby testified he arrived to help and believe the female officer on scene was in danger. That's because the suspect, Jeffrey Parker, had a gun to his head and the officer was out in the open and not pointing her gun at him. Darby said he thought she had frozen, so he took control of the situation. The other officer on scene testified he thought the female officer also did not have control of the situation and the use of lethal force was inevitable. Now, the female testified she never felt in danger, but we did learn she was sent to remedial training because Hunza police believe she did not follow protocol in a dangerous situation. Now, in the last 15 minutes, we just talked to Jeffrey Parker's best friend. We'll bring you what he had to say about today's hearing and about how the last year has been um, in the coming 30 minutes. Live in Huntsville, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News. New details at four on the immunity hearing for a Huntsville police officer who's waiting to learn if his murder case will move forward. The first time we're hearing from a friend of the man that Officer Darby shot. Way 31 Sydney Martin is there live with brand new details. Sydney, what'd you learn? Naja, we also learned today what kind of gun the Huntsville police officer, along with the suicidal man, were both holding when the deadly shooting happened. Officer William Darby was armed with a shotgun, and the suicidal man, Jeffrey Parker, had what looked to be a revolver to his head. However, a Huntsville police investigator testified the gun that Parker was holding was actually a flare gun that he had altered and painted, but it looked like an actual gun. Darby testified a slug was in the shotgun instead of a shell that contained nine pellets. Just minutes ago, we talked to Parker's friend of 30 years who was in the courtroom and saw body camera video from the incident for the first time. We've always wondered what in the world actually happened. Um, now we know, for example, why he, we, he had a closed casket, <laughs> if that means anything. And um, it's been quite a quite a down year considering the whole situation. Darby said the slug was in the gun because he wanted to be accurate if he was forced to shoot. He testified he knew they were in a neighborhood and didn't want anyone else to be harmed if force needed to be used. Now, no decision was made today by the judge. She's expected to put down a ruling on this immunity hearing in the coming weeks. Live in Huntsville, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News.